What's going on? What's going on, Atlanta? This What's is up, your Atlanta? boy, it's Brandon Carson. Brandon Carson and your boy Trip Ali up up in this bitch. And we are the plug. The Thank plug. you guys so much for tuning in. Thank we have a special, special, very, very special co host. Real today. special because it's Brandon's brother. My big brother! Can y'all see the resemblance? <laughs> What's going da, on? Da, da, da. Okay, so tell us who you are, where you're from, what do you do? Absolutely. I'm Brian Jordan Jr. Hey. Um, I'm from Baton Rouge, Louisiana. You guys know Brandon's from there. Right. I'm an actor. I live yeah. here in Atlanta. I'm a writer, a singer, songwriter. Oh, damn. Okay. Producer. Okay. Yeah. All an right. activist. Yeah, Black Lives Matter. Black, Black Lives, Lives yeah. Matter. Let me see y'all throw y'all fists up in the oh, air yeah. one time for Black Lives Matter. <laughs> yeah. Though we won't be able to see them do it. It's cool. That's Put okay. We feel it. We feel Everything y'all. It's fine. Okay, so first things first, we're going to go into the trending topics. So, now, let me let you know something. Trip, I know you're going to feel some type of way about this. I'm going to feel some type of way. And I know you're going to feel some type of way about this, too, because you're a really big Kanye fan. Okay. okay. So this is about your boy. So apparently, everything that I was talking about, see, I said I, he lost his mind, and I was not even saying that in a joking way. I was being very, 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 very <laughs> serious. And so is his psychiatric doctor. Okay. Basically, this is what's going down. Kanye West, if you haven't heard already, has been hospitalized due to psychiatric troubles that he's having within his mind. Right, right. Um, as it pertains to the spaz outs, everything that's been going on, it's starting to add up now. It's starting to add up. And I've been knew the nigga was crazy. Yeah. Like, I think the thing is with mental health in the black community, a lot of people don't really, they just be like, don't take get it some serious. rest. They don't take it seriously. Yeah. And mental health in the black community is very serious. Yeah. You know, mental something that we need period. to really yeah. focus on. Like, you know, back in the day, they used to just be like, yo, get some rest. Like, oh, pray it away. Or oh, drink some water. You know what I'm saying? Drink some water. They had all types of, now you know, yeah. shit yeah. for remedies for your mental true. health yeah. issues. People, they just run to the church and... and run to the church. Tell it to God. Now, it's not a bad Don't place to run. Don't tell nobody but Jesus. It's not a bad place to run if your pastor not running away with your money and spending it on his bills and stuff okay, for church that's house. Another, but that's, that's another, another topic. Wow, 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 wow. Going back to Kanye, this is this is how I feel about the situation, and then I want to get your input on okay. it. Okay. Mm-hmm. Um, I personally think that all of this kind of started right around the, the time, time his mother, his mother passed. passed. Yes, yeah, exactly. It kind of just went, It kind like his mind kind of spiraled out of control. He thought he had control of it. But at that time, I personally think he should have got the help that he needed right he then and there. He should have. To just go ahead and cope through that situation. And, and what do you think about the friends in his life that don't be like, yo, Kanye, you tripping. Like, we need to get you some help. What you think, bro? I, I think that, well, I, I don't like to speak on, like, things like, friends giving him advice because you really don't really know who's giving yeah. him advice or not uh, how receptive he is to it but I do yeah. feel like um, African Americans and I hate to go back to it but I do feel like African Americans in particular are a subculture of people that feel like we don't need mental health right. care yeah. and so what happens is I mean it, it dates back to slavery for me like I think that there is a mental stigma that we all have mm-hmm. and we all have a, a certain way of dealing with things and I think that just Kanye is using acting out as a coping mechanism. I think that I read today that he was like paranoid. They yeah. diagnosed him with paranoia. Mm-hmm. I, mean, I think that he's always been like that. And so anything yeah. that he says is just kind of like just some crazy shit because he's crazy. But he's a genius, you know, and they, they say that most people. But it's a thin line thing. between crazy and genius. Let's well, get no, this right. There's a lot of geniuses out there who are crazy or who do have mental in, like incapabilities that don't make them certified like a normal person. Exactly. Because if you think about it, like. Um, for instance, my uh, there's this a lot of really Steve big Jobs. people who can like, yeah, right, lot, come a up lot with of people. a whole lot of people who have mental issues that are extremely creative. Right. So I mean, it kind of correlates in a weird way. I, I like to look at myself. I mean, I crazy. think I'm a genius, but I don't think I'm crazy. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? But the thing is, you know, yeah, I did try. You, you know what I mean? You are crazy, a little bit. You know, but. The thing is, like, I just feel like, I just feel like, you know, um, I appreciate my friends and my family that keep it 100 because I definitely feel like at this point in my life, I feel like if something was like tick, tick, boom with me, my people would be like, yo, trip. They would lock my ass down, put me in the straight jacket, and take my <laughs> ass to where I needed to be. And it would be nothing I could do. Yeah. Like, I know you under- You said you don't want to speak about the friendships, but I feel like the people in your real life yeah. are the people that we look to to keep us 
you know, grounded and keep us on that straight level. Dealing with fame and celebrity and a lot mm -hmm. of shit, that can, a lot of people deal with that a lot differently. Yeah. And you yeah. need real people in your life to be like, look, something ain't right. Exactly. We gonna get this shit checked out. So you apparently something been ain't right with him. Well, we all been new. Knew it. We all knew it. I think that it went from a joke to seriousness. Yeah. When shit got real. When shit got real. I knew, shit got real when he got on, like, I, at the VMAs, when mm -hmm. they gave him. Mm -hmm. Before that. Mm -hmm. I think that, I think that it got real when it, after Hurricane Katrina, and he was just standing there looking and he said, George Bush, Bush don't care about black people. That, yeah, yeah. okay. All right. You got I point. say this nigga crazy. But I mean, he was, was speaking right. the truth. And so yeah, when we, when we excused it, but the way he said it, it was just like. This nigga's a yeah, lunatic. Yeah, yeah. yeah but yeah. why do we, like, when people speak of things that's not the norm, why do we look at them as, like, a lunatic or they crazy because they want it's to speak It's just a up? social situation. I hate it. I, I don't. I, hate I, it. I, I don't think that people look, oh, I, I, I can speak for myself. I don't look at people and say he's a lunatic because of what he's saying because I agree with it. It was how he said it. Mm -hmm. Like, pe people with a certain psyche. We, I mean, but who yeah. knows what crazy is? Like, you can, we can yeah. argue all day about what crazy is. I think we all got a little crazy. I enough. think it's a social thing. Definitely you tripping. I think that... Um, <laughs> <laughs> I think that you just have to... <laughs> Wait a minute. Wait a minute. <laughs> I, think, I think that you just have to, you know... <laughs> You, when you when we, you can tell when somebody is just different because I don't even like to call people crazy. Right. People call me crazy, you know. But I think that. Well. Come on, come on, get into yeah, it. You, you fucking lost me. So. I mean, I've been knowing you for 23, 23 years. Yeah. And you still don't know me, so I just think I, that. Oh, wait a minute! Come on now. Yeah, but anyway, Ooh. Kanye West, we hope you get well soon. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Baby. Moving on. <laughs> Rest for Kanye. All right. Yeah. So. Second thing, second. Everybody knows about the South Carolina shooting that uh, it was a mass murder shooting, um, the killing of nine black people within a um, African church mm -hmm. in Charleston, South Carolina. Now, the guy who did it, Dylan Ruth, I'm saying his name right, he was basically, okay, so his lawyer was putting up the argument mm -hmm. that everybody knows this, that he had like a mental um he was mentally They always try to claim unstable. mentally unstable right. once they get caught for but some shit. You, Your ass ain't mentally stable when you, you this, plot a motherfucking strategic plan to murder let me tell you fucking this, though. Let me tell you this, tens though. of people. His lawyer probably shitting bricks right now because apparently the judge came back and was like, ah, 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 ah. Exactly. He is fit yeah. to stand the trial. trial. Exactly. So basically, on tomorrow, actually, they're going to be calling up jurors, getting people out to... Um, do jury duty and do the case. Sit through trial and let it happen and see what's going on within this court case. Yo. So how do you feel? I you think you are an activist. Uh -huh. I'm sorry for cutting you off. Go ahead, go ahead. We want to hear from the activists. <laughs> Being that you are the activist, uh -huh. how do you feel about this? And then we can just penny back on. I think that I think say. that uh, oftentimes this is just a personal opinion. I think that often we as African Americans. Because we are African Americans, we feel that there is this justice system that works for us. Mm -hmm. And I think that if we look at the root of the justice system, especially if we, we're just looking at it from a point of how we're governed, which is the Constitution, you know, the Bill of Rights, right. which were drafted before slavery ever happened, right. um, we would understand that the Constitution wasn't even written with anybody but white people in mind. Exactly. And so at this point, um, they wasn't thinking about us from the jump. And they still don't think about it. I mean, it's they just not for us. And so, yeah. I mean, you know, it's just, it's just amazing when we put so much trust in a system that yes. it's not, it's not made for us. We just kind of here. Yeah. We kind of exist. And that's unfortunate. Just kinda I here. just know. It's kind of like one of them things like I live here, but I don't. Don't. Pay for it. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, it's like you in a place, but you, you just stand on somebody's sofa. You stand on somebody's sofa. Yeah, yeah. so that means that, on, I mean, you, you live there. Down. You done broke You live there. You live there, but you but you ain't got a key. And your name ain't on the lease. You ain't got a key, you got to yeah. wait for somebody Ooh. to let you in that bitch. Ooh. Your name ain't on the lease. Ooh, your name ain't so, on the so, lease. So, <laughs> your name ain't on the lease? When that's a motherfucking problem. That's a problem. Get your name on the lease. Especially if you're over 18. Oh. Oh, okay. now, okay. Get your name on the list. But, I mean, it's the truth. It's the truth. You know, you know how you have, like sneak one of your friends to live in, but they want you to put the name on the lease. But they be like, no, bitch, your name ain't about to get on the lease. Like this is my shit. And when I want to put you out, I need to put you out. 
So that's how America is doing us. African Americans, right. we so sofa sleep. We ain't on the lease. Y'all have to realize that we are not on America the lease. Is our we are not on the lease. Y'all think that we free? We are not free. Our but, name is not on the but lease. But the thing about it is our name isn't on the lease, but we the apartment can't work without us. Yeah, of oh, course. That's oh, how it is all the time. It's like the like our name not on the lease, but the rent won't be paid unless we in there. Come That's on, right, because we're still paying our part, but we just don't have our name Come on, on the exactly. lease. Come on. Black our people part. need to realize the impact and uh, what they, you know. Speak true. Yeah. Yeah, come on. Let them use me. Let them use me. Come, come on, on. come on, somebody. <laughs> <laughs> America needs to realize <laughs> what what part that we stand as a black community. It wouldn't be a community without the black community. Right. Come on, somebody. Right. On the backs right. of Thanksgiving, where they stole <laughs> the land from the people and then stole the people Ooh, from the land. Hello. Here. Come yeah. on now. Okay, right. so. Moving right along. Let's move on. That's the worst. That's not a good topic for me to speak. Yeah, I know. Cause you get a little upset. Go okay. ahead, let it out. Let okay. it out. This is a place where you can let it out. <laughs> Wait a minute. Is this like some church group y'all used to sing when y'all was kids? Was no, all in let the me choir? tell you. We used to be in the choir together. Come on, let me hear what y'all sung. <laughs> come on, come on. Let me hey. hear something. Let me see something. Don't, don't, don't do it for God. Come on now. Let me hear what y'all got. Well, everything I do is for God. All right, now. Minute. Let Wait me hear. Now. He's weary. Well, that's I. Not, that's not a church song. That's not a church song. It's Solange a Solange's song. song. Oh, my bad. <laughs> hey, Solange. <laughs> hey, Solange. <laughs> she's Solange. watching. Yeah. So, <laughs> moving right along. Moving, moving, moving right along. So, basically, our topic for today is drum roll. Drum roll. Hey, fuck the drum roll. Like, why is. Female gay artists more accepted in the hip hop community than male gay artists. Than male gay artists. I mean, you got. This. I mean, you got Young M.A. I love her. Is it? Is it? Is it? Gay, is it? Is it gay artist or gay hip hop artist? Gay hip hop artist. Gay hip hop. Because in particular, the hip hop culture. Really hasn't been receptive and has like has not been receptive of to a gay, gay guys. rapper. Um, a lot of like a, no, a, in particular a gay guy. Not so much the gay female because if that was the case, then we wouldn't no, have a young MA. The gay female has been accepted because it's uh, it's kind of like this thing like oh she a female like she soft she like eat. she eating pussy like it's all good. You know what I'm saying? But when it comes to the male artist. It's not as, as as accepted as it is for female artists. I, I think that it's it's a, interesting to me. I do agree with what both of y'all said. I think it's even more interesting in me to me that straight female artists have a, a harder time than breaking through breaking through than the gay ones because I mean yeah. I guess whatever is close to a man. You know what? You I know? do agree with that. I feel like Nicki Minaj used a lot of gay things to get absolutely. her to the platform that she's at yeah, right absolutely. now. She was talking about if you listen to the song with her and Usher. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? She yeah. was talking about you being a lesbian. Usher sent her up. You can say that on duty. I'm looking for a cutie, a real big girl, get the booty. All right. I like it. Let's see, I was yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. All that. He all that. Oh, so yeah. what I'm saying is that they accept female artists. When it comes to the gay lifestyle, but yep. when it comes to a male artist, which we probably have a what? lot of them, you know what I'm saying? Well, but with you being, they can't come out. When you with you being a rapper, I want to ask you directly because when when we we brought up the topic, I first thing I thought was you in mind, right? Because you have lived that life right. of being a rapper and being a rapper, right? Having to go seeing it for yourself. How do you feel? Like, why do you think that's the case? I feel like hip hop is masculine driven. Like I feel like it's all about, you know, the masculinity. Mm -hmm. Like I feel like if you don't they feel like if you are a person that's attracted to another man, you don't you can't speak for the streets. You know what I'm saying? It's like like a, a man attracted to another man. A man right. that's attracted to another man can't speak for the streets. Okay. That's how I feel like hip hop has made it to be for the so many years that they've been around. I feel like uh, it's kind of like you're not a representation of Who the hip hop c culture. Right. You know what I'm saying? Which is like, which leads a lot of artists to be undercover, down low, having private sex parties, all types of shit that they be doing to get shit popping. I mean, because you can't run from it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But at the same time, I feel like people are people. I think your sexuality has nothing to do with what you are 
creatively and the talent that you have. I, I truly believe that. Why does it? Why in the? Fuck but y'all love Young and Bay. Everybody is like, ooh, like why? Well, I, I love Young and Bay. Wait, wait. Well, let me say this though. People love Young Thug too. But Young Thug hasn't come out to say that he was a gay artist. That's something that everybody is putting on him but he's, because the way he dresses and the way that he does things. But he's, he's never. Playing, but the thing is, what? I was joking. He's playing on okay. it. That's what I don't like. The fact that you're playing on it and then if but I But how do you know that he's it, playing on it? It's millions of people out here and everybody is different. Like maybe he don't decide. Maybe he just don't want to wear so the baggy clothes. Like, maybe right, he just right. want to be who he is. Well, let me say this clearly though. So if, if, it, if it's a notion of masculinity, he does things that are... But masculinity right. does ha has nothing to do with the clothes that you wear. And that's the problem that I'm having. Like, just because he chose chose to wear a shirt that in our culture feel yeah. like, oh, it's a feminine shirt yeah. or those pants are too tight, what does that mean that you masculinity? Oh, right. I get down with them, the hooders and hood niggas. Right. You know what I'm saying? But it doesn't... It Your clothes and the way you carry yourself... Like, I don't think that he's a feminine dude. Right. Well, I mean, I don't I don't like to judge feminine on Why the fuck y'all calling me on my radio show? This is every time. Yo, y'all hotline stay blinging while you working. Yo, I should put this nigga out there. Like, and then you yo. smiled. Hello? No, it ain't no smile situation. That was a smirk. Y'all saw that smirk? That was a smirk. It was a smirk situation because I'm about to put your ass out. Look, dude, don't you know that I'm live okay. Okay. from live. 6 to Just, 7 okay. every Sunday. Don't hit me up on my cell phone. Text me any other thing, but don't don't call Please me. Please text him any other time because if we have to go through this again, it's a problem. Did you do this the last time too? Because if you did, you wrong for that nah, shit too. Nah, they don't know what the fuck is up. Oh, okay. okay. Clearly, right that's, go that's ahead. apparent. Go ahead. That is quite apparent. What I will say about the whole topic, I just think that I, I honestly don't. I think it just shouldn't matter. Like, why does my personal preference? have to get in the way of what I'm doing professionally. Exactly. Especially if I'm not doing it in front of you or I'm not welcoming you into my personal life. I think I think that what happens is people it's just a human nature to always be against or always shun things that you don't understand. Yeah. So if people don't understand it, then they're going to, you know, and it's just, it comes from a, a lack of intellect. And a place of fear too. And a, and yeah. a, a place of ignorance. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. I just think that's unfortunate. But congratulations to Young and May. She's great. She's absolutely amazing. I she's, thought she was a man. Yeah, um, she's actually going to be. A everybody thought that she was a man. So maybe that's why she beginning. did so well. You know, because when I when I when I heard it, I no. Heard it. But if you listen yeah. to lyrics, real artists who listen to lyrics know for a fact that it's not. She talking about females. She talking about some absolutely. Yo, you, you, you ain't getting funny because the boy like she talking about like eating pussy and fucking bitches with dildos and all types of shit. And niggas is up in that bitch like ooh, <laughs> like you know what I'm saying. And it's all good. But if a nigga was to come out talking about that same shit, It'd be crazy. it would be a problem. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And I think that's holding our, you know, community back, you know, and it's holding a lot of people back from being who they really are because yeah. they can't be yeah. them completely. She's actually here in Atlanta, guys. By She's the way. here in Atlanta. She's going to be at Score Sports Bar. I might go to tonight. You know yeah, what I mean? Right on Memorial Drive um, in Stone Mountain, actually. So go check her, see her out. Check her out. She'll definitely be there. Um, I don't know what she's gonna be doing there. I'm sure she's gonna be performing for sure. I'm sure, sure. she's gonna be touching ass and some Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> Not Donald Trump. <laughs> Ooh. Wait, what did he say? I yeah. said he's gonna be touching ass and grabbing tickets. I said, oh, not Donald Trump. Oh, yeah, that's a grab for Yeah, because you know, oh, yeah. the president grabs yeah. crotches. President elect, he lost me. He can't keep his hands. Well, shout out to Young and May for doing what she's doing and shout changing the game. She's like, I feel yeah. like she's the most. Um, Popular or accepted gay LGBT artist situation, yes, yeah. since yeah. forever. Shout out know. to you, shout out to you, boo boo. Shout However, comma, I heard there was a little situation that happened. In Come New on, York speak on it. That involved Young Ma. What? Not. I'm. I'm just telling you what I Come what on. I heard. I'm not saying this is actual factual. Okay. But basically, she showed up to an event that she was promoting after the concert. This is what I heard, girl. This is they said on the shade room, girl. My bad. I'm just saying. They said that she came there. She saw that there wasn't enough people, or whoever was on her team or whatever saw that there wasn't enough people, and told her to stay in the car. Okay. 30 minutes after that, the car drove off. What? Okay, see, this. I got something to say on this topic. If, if this is a fact. If, if this is a fact, this is what I was taught 
and I came up in the Easy E era. I was the last nigga to actually kick it and get the knowledge from Easy E. Okay. Thank you. Praises. You know what I'm saying? But Bless um you. The one thing that I did learn is it doesn't matter who's in the audience. Mm -hmm. Every fan, like that one fan could have turned into 20 fans. You shouldn't get so ahead of yourself to where you feel like, oh, ain't enough people here for me right. to perform. If like, this is if true. it's five people there or 500 or 5,000, if it's true, you know what I'm saying? I feel like you should have just gave her best show no matter yeah, what. Yeah, because this is, this is, this is You're still on the up and coming. You ain't See, there yet. I'm not saying you're doing this, young and May. I'm really not. I'm just going to let, I'm just going to compare you. Where did you get this information from? I got it from the shade room. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. They quite shady Look, there. Let's fix is, our mics. Right I like to, I like to, <laughs> I, I feel like I want to have a class with people. And it's, it, it, the class is going to be titled blank or Carrie Hilson. Because that's how I feel. <laughs> this is this is how I feel. <laughs> you can really fuck up your everything if you do what she did. It's all about humbling yourself sometimes right. when it comes to that specific situation. Ooh. Because it's a lot of people out there who are either rooting for you or making sure, like rooting for you, making sure you make it. Or rooting for you, making sure you don't. Right. And okay. the thing right. about it is, see, Kara Hilson came for the wrong person. You don't have to do that to Carrie. I'm just, she, Carrie did it to herself. <laughs> she went from Hollywood to Christmas movies. And I just think that at this point, you just. Hollywood to holiday. Holly okay. Ooh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Hollywood, the bitch went from Hollywood to holiday. Yeah. Miss O. Ho. Okay. Ah. Yeah. Yeah. Miss O. So you know what? He came on the show and started all types of trouble. I'm not starting trouble. Let me just say this about the whole situation. I, I really hope that's not the truth. Yeah. And if it is the truth, I think that maybe it was a scheme that Todd set up <laughs> so that he could come. Try <laughs> with the bullshit. That's what I think. <laughs> Maybe it was a scheme that Todd said. Yeah, I hate you so much right now. You know you did that last week. You, so you did that same thing last week. You you did the candies on Aunt Bertha. Yeah, you did Aunt Bertha. I live Aunt Bertha. No, I love Aunt Bertha. No, let me tell you. You were. Oh, I can't wait until we get into it. So reality check is up next, actually. Reality check is up next. But I cannot wait until we get into that because the last... The last episode. I'm just gonna wait until we get back. Just to wait. It. I'm just okay, gonna wait until we get back. Hold your horses. Hold your horses. I'm gonna hold my horses. Okay, go back. Let, let the activists talk. What would yeah. you say? Okay, no, so I just I, I just think that it's very very important to just realize how to make a true fan base. Yeah, right. And when you have people like your Beyonce, and of course I'm gonna use her because she's great. She's my. But Beyonce, I remember when I was younger, Beyonce would be at colleges like. Yeah, and exactly. They have 12 but, she paid, there. Yeah. but she paid her due. And this, and this young lady has to, our young MA, has to pay her dues yeah. as well. Exactly. And that's the thing should. that y'all don't realize. Like, in the industry, you have to pay your dues. Like, and pay your dues. A lot of y'all who don't understand what that is, y'all get y'all social media following, and y'all think y'all like a celebrity. Y'all think y'all all this shit. If y'all haven't paid y'all dues, it's not going to go anywhere. Yeah. What paying dues means. I pay my dues. I feel like I paid dues. Like, 